They say expectations are the thief of joy. I don't know what I was expecting here, but I was definitely not expecting sync to be so similar to zero. I mean, sync is not a bad string. It's just that I'm not so sure that this is a different string altogether. I mean, round off the edges on zero, throw a different die into your Vata polyester, slap on a different label, and you might as well have yourself some sync. This is how Restring themselves define their strings characteristics. Do you see the difference? There's only one and it's this thing. They're both going to offer you great tension maintenance and snapback. In my experience, this is 100% accurate for both sync and zero. And other reviewers online seem to agree as well. So I'm going to set these two aside for today and focus on the one thing that according to Restring themselves sets sync apart from zero. There's three distinct phrases here. So let's focus on them one by one. Excellent control. Yep, this is true for sync, but it's also true for zero. Both these strings are stiff and plasticky feeling, which is where I found the excellent control to come from. But if you rely on spin for that extra margin for error, then zero will definitely give you more spin because, well, it's shaped. But how much more? That depends on you, your hitting style and your game's reliance on spin. I play at the 3.5 to 4.0 level and I've got a decently spinning game and what I found from zero was a slightly higher launch angle, not necessarily more spin. So unless you're a really advanced player, you should expect similar levels of control and spin from sync, just at a slightly lower launch angle, which is what makes it feel like it's got more of that point and shoot kind of control. And it's also what makes it feel a lot more lower powered than zero is. Again, the differences in launch angle comes down to you, your hitting style, your game's reliance on spin. Enhanced pocketing. Eh, not really. I found the ball pocketing on sync to be essentially the same as zero. And I did not find the ball pocketing on zero to be above average unless you hit the ball really hard. But I want to point out that my take is extremely biased. If you've watched enough of my videos, you know that the trait I value most out of my setups is ball pocketing. I get that ball pocketing by choosing to play with softer strings or hybrid setups at low tensions. My default tension is 35 pounds, but I can go up to 40 pounds depending on the string. I found over time that this is what works best for my wristy deceptive style of play, which itself comes from having played other racket sports at a decent level. The tennis players I've loved watching the most and have modeled my game after are Fabrice Santoro, Agnieszka Radwanska, Sei Su Wei, Roger Federer, and more recently, Adrian Menarino. If you're curious about why this is the case, or my racket sports history, or where the low tensions come from, you can see this video that I've linked down in the description below, right below the like button. The point I'm trying to make here is that I'm not the best person to tell you whether the ball pocketing is good here, because a stiff plasticky string like sync will never provide good enough ball pocketing for me without being too powerful at the tensions I prefer. I've got a whole video about this too, if you're curious. The best I can do for you is to tell you that the ball pocketing on sync for me was essentially the same as zero. And I think this is because these are quite stiff strings. So if I were you, I would lower both your expectations and tensions for this particular trait. So at the end of the day, enhanced here to me, it reads like a marketing term, like superior when someone's trying to convince you or sell you on something that is average or subpar. Feel, ah, uh, my arch nemesis, totally subjective feel. Sync feels all right, a little bit crisper than zero, but not by much. Let me explain. Other than the stiff plasticky feeling of zero, my biggest knock on it ended up being its mutedness. For me, a good feeling string is something that sends lots of vibrations down through the handle and into your arm. So think like a nine out of 10 on a vibration score, but that's just me. I have a friend I play with regularly for whom RPM Blast is a good feeling string. For reference, I would give RPM Blast a one out of 10 on this vibration score. So you see, what feels good is relative and subjective. It depends on what you prefer. On the same scale, zero would score a three out of 10 and sync would score a five out of 10. So sync is a very middle of the road feeling string, not too lively, not too muted, not too responsive. And I think most people who play with polys regularly will find sync to be okay. I found sync to be a racket sensitive string, just like zero. There's actually two aspects to this. First is that it's not as good in stiff rackets because when you pair them with stiff plasticky strings, then your setups end up playing a bit harsh. Second is that if your racket has excessive dampening technologies, then sync will play more muted and even more similar to how zero plays. I tried sync in my Bolt 98 Lite V1 initially. If you're not aware of bolt frames, these are really stiff frames that have a suspension mechanism built into them, which is what provides the flex instead of the frame. 
While I could tell Sync was crisper, I also got the sense that Sync might be even crispier in a normal frame. I then put Sync in this Dunlop biomimetic frame that I've had since 2014. And this is a frame that plays very similarly to how uh, current head speeds play. And in this frame, Sync definitely did play crisper. It wasn't vastly different than the both frame, but just enough to notice. So is Sync just a round and slightly less muted zero? Yeah, pretty much. And I have to wonder if this minor difference is only because they added a different dye to the same base polyester formula that Zero is made from. With Zero, I could tell what Restring was trying to do, but I'm struggling with Sync. Zero is geared towards advanced players that swing hard and fast, want to rail on the ball from the baseline, use spin to keep the ball inside the court, and want to keep doing that without a fear of loss in performance due to a decrease in snapback or tension loss. That represents a big chunk of players. But the only change I would make to this sentence with sync is this underlying bit to attack the ball and come in. Because I can see that this caters to a more attacking style of play, but at the same time, this doesn't have the power or feel I would think someone would need from a setup for that. To me, an attacking style of play focuses on keeping points short, but the stiff controlled nature of sync only helps with keeping balls inside the court, not much else. To attack with this, you really have to go after your shots, which takes effort and negates the effort savings you get from keeping points short. So who is this for? Alcaraz? But I'm not a pro or an advanced player, and I'm guessing most of you watching aren't either. So I would temper your expectations with Sync, and maybe those of you watching who truly are advanced players can let us know down in the comments below if I'm missing something. I cannot emphasize enough that this is not a negative review. Sync is a good string. I so far have not come across a round string that matches its tension maintenance and snapback, but I can't look at it in a vacuum knowing that zero exists. And I think I was just expecting for sync to be a lot more different than zero is. Like I said, expectations are the thief of joy and a full bed of sync is not for me. But a hybrid might definitely be worth it. That's what I'll be exploring in part two of this review of Restring Sync, where I'll try and unlock playability for those of us in the 3.5 to 4.0 camp who prefer something softer, but still deserve good tension maintenance and snapback. I'm currently playtesting these setups. It ties in with some other string reviews that I've got upcoming, and if these initial playtests are something to go by, then you will not want to miss them. If you're curious, I've also explored a hybrid setup with Restring Zero. It's something that Restring themselves recommended, and it's a good one. I'll leave a link to that down in the description right below the like button. So if you've liked what you've heard so far, which is a bit different than the string hype train that I know some of you have complained about, then hit subscribe to stay up to date and I'll see you in the next one.